Having a double weakness is a terrible drawback for Pokemon like Parasect. This mushroom bug had three of these four times weaknesses in Gen 1, fire, flying, and poison. That's bad, but what if all super effective damage was doubled, allowing up to eight times damage? Can this Parasect survive red version? Despite all its weaknesses, Parasect can be decent in a playthrough of Pokemon Red, even though it today is the weakest Parasect you've ever seen. The combination of a high attack stat as well as Spore is actually a decent combination to get through the game. Right now we only have Stun Spore, so that's not gonna be as good as Spore, but we can kind of scratch and hope that this Parasect has enough to get through Charmander here. We aren't doing a ton of damage. I think we are gonna easily take it though, just because it doesn't have any fire moves yet. But when it does, even an Ember will probably take us right out. There goes Blue right out of the lab and we can start our our Pokemon journey. We're going to be taking massive damage from all of our weaknesses. So that will include things like ice and rock types will deal double damage to us as well. I accomplish this by basically scaling up the power of all of those types of moves within the ROM itself because that effectively is going to make them double super effective and Parasect doesn't actually get a lot of moves on its own to use against these types. Of course, Spore is going to be a mainstay on this moveset as well, but we'll see if we can even get fast enough to actually move first on any of these enemy teams to put them to sleep first turn. That's going to be a big problem. So I'm going to train up for a little bit and try to get level 10-ish for Brock at least. The poison moves do scare me a little bit. Even poison sting will deal eight times damage. So an effective like 120 base power, that is going to be real nuts for something that shouldn't be that strong at all in the early game. Leech life also only has 15 power points, which is not great. Look at that poison sting damage. Wow. I think level 10 is all we need against Brock, but I'm not 100% sure this is my first attempt at this. So I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna go, but that way we can get some realistic reaction from me, some real live reaction as I play. And I think it's gonna make it a whole bunch of fun. I'm gonna drop a save right here, see if that helps us out against the Light Years Trainer. Uh, I think scratching through this fight is gonna be the best thing we can do. I think I need to Stun Spore actually as well. Oops, that's not good. That's not good at all. Fully paralyzed. I need some health back. Fully paralyzed, fully paralyzed. We are gonna be able to get through, not by much. We do get level 10. I think Parasect could do it. He doesn't have any rock moves. Luckily he just has normal types, so he's not gonna hit that hard at least for now. Basically the later we get into the game, the worse it's gonna get. Okay, he has full heals, so I can't actually paralyze him here. This is gonna be very slow going and I probably don't even have enough PP for the Onyx. I'm kind of scared here, not nearly enough at all. Well, he's getting paralyzed a million times in a row. There it is. There's the first blackout. So I think that we need a couple more additional levels to get us to the point where we're gonna be strong enough to beat Brock. At level 13, we're gonna be slightly higher damage because of the damage rounding. I think just leech lifing is gonna be the way to go. And we need that for Onyx as much as possible. Okay, so here we're going to stun Spore because he's gonna use full heals a bunch. Brock doesn't have any more full heals. We should be in a much better spot. I can waste his time when he's biting. He unleashes, doesn't do damage. We are using leech life. Tackle is hitting for a little bit too much damage. That's a little scary, a crit, fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed, come on. Fully paralyzed, we got this. We got this. Come on. One screech. There we go, Parasect has gotten past Brock. Level 13 is what we needed. So that means we are off toward Route 3 and Mount Moon, which for the most part is pretty safe for us still. This will kind of be like the Dark Souls of Pokemon, where a single hit from something we are weak to is just gonna kind of take us out. But hopefully Parasect is gonna be able to hold out sometimes in these battles, even if it takes eight times damage. Not really expecting it to do well in a lot of those situations. So this Sparrow is gonna be named after Sputtermouth. Thank you so much Sputtermouth for being a fantastic member of the channel. Okay, so let's heal up and then we can head into Mount Moon and see how far we can get. I think I might just try to beat most of these trainers to try to get as much experience as possible. I think it's just gonna kind of be necessary, honestly. This will be following solo run rules, so I will not be using items in battle. I think that's just going to suit us anyway, because I don't think we're going to be healing up much once we get hit by some of the big eight times weaknesses anyway. I think we're just going to be resetting a lot. That bug and poison interaction is so interesting in Gen 1 that they're super effective against each other. That is not the case ever again. I don't think after Gen 1 in any other context. I think even in Pokemon Stadium that was fixed. Okay, Leech Life isn't too bad. It is going to be dealing bonus damage because it is now four times effective. We're just kind of over leveled at this point, so we don't take a ton from a little tiny Zubat, which is good for us because that was still not a comfy battle. 
We can't actually use Cut and Dig on our main Pokemon, but I think we will catch this Paris. This will be Brushwag. I'm gonna just name this Bruh because I don't think the whole thing will fit in here. But Bruh, thank you so much for being a member. You are fantastic. We are getting a little over leveled, which is nice. I am gonna need that for the rival in Cerulean. I'm really looking forward or not looking forward, I guess, to that one because he seems like he's gonna be quite strong. There we go, that Smog did insane damage for a 20 base power move, but that hits hard. That hits real hard. Alrighty, I am gonna be fighting Misty first, just because we resist her and I think we need a little bit of extra training before we fight anything we are weak to. This one is gonna be rough right here. This last has Peck, which is gonna be a effective 280 base power. That is actually terrifying. I am going to scratch and just hope that we do not get hit by a Peck. We do survive. Come on, Parasect. Parasect knocks itself out. There we go. That Peck does massive damage. We need to get three hits in is all we need. Hitting ourselves just is not the way to go. There we go. Just wait for the supersonic fail. We got it. I think we'll be actually pretty okay. Our special is good. Our speed is terrible, so we're not going to outspeed. But Leech Life and Scratch should be enough to just get us through this battle. It can tackle us, but it will not actually be able to do much damage at all. Perfect. And I can drop a save right here before we fight Blue. Here, let me KO that Parasect, MT. I believe he has a Pidgey without any actual flying moves. Yes, so Gust is normal type. That's actually very important for us right here. I'm gonna try to just scratch this thing out of my way. Did that just miss? That was a second gen one miss right there. I can't hit him now, there we go. One dropped accuracy is enough to make your life kind of miserable in gen one. It's enough to really mess you up. One more scratch is all we need. We don't get it. I can scratch this Rattata twice. We're at decent health now. I don't think we st survive a Ember because it would be an effective 320 base power effectively because of the type matchup. That is brutal. We got lucky there. He didn't use it. We get through that fight. Four resets though, not too bad so far for having two badges and the first mandatory rival battle down. Now it's time for Nugget Bridge. There are several poison type trainers here on this route, which I'm not looking forward to, but hopefully we will have enough power to just get through all of these low level Pokemon. All right, so four resets is actually pretty decent. I think that I might be uh, banging my head on the table here at the end of the playthrough, honestly, I'm a little scared. I'm gonna go talk to Bill now. We can get our SS and ticket and then we can head to Vermilion. But honestly, in gen one, it really outperforms what you expect from it. Because even in fights like this, where we're not necessarily having a good matchup, because bug types, while super effective against the drowsy that's coming up, just don't have a lot they can do. It seems to be performing pretty well, even with all of the extra handicaps it has to overcome today. I believe the next guy has peck, so I'm a little worried there. Let's heal up. Uh, I'll drop a save as well. This, I think he has a Spiro, could really mess us up. Yeah, it has peck. So this thing might be able to do enough to take us down if it gets lucky. No, but one single peck does a lot of damage from an underleveled Spearow. I believe we get Body Slam here in just a moment, which will be a huge help for, oh my goodness gracious, one HP. <laughs> that was a little scary. Okay, um, I should have expected that to be hard. I should not have been so brave. Okay, so that gives us Body Slam. I'm gonna go ahead and teach that actually right now. We definitely want Body Slam. I don't think there's any chance we outspeed or anything. Wait, we do. That actually makes a much better situation there. This one though, we have to take an Ember. I don't know if we can survive. Woo, okay, yeah, we can. That's pretty good damage though. A single Ponita that's 10 levels lower can almost one-shot us. I don't love that, but now we have to face Blue. <laughs> you still have that Parasect? Just give up on that dang bug. I don't think he has anything too bad except for what's gonna be a Charmeleon now on his team. Okay, Body Slam doesn't one-shot Pidgeotto, I was hoping. Level 27, Kadabra, we don't even close to out speed, but luckily we don't have any big weakness there. Um, yeah, so he's gonna go first. Ember's just gonna take us out. There's not really much we can do besides just try it again. We can train up a little bit, I guess. If we're still too weak, that might be another solution we have to take here. Oh, Body Slime is disabled now. Oh, that's bad. I mean, we're going to have to tank an Ember again. Can Parasect survive a single Ember? That's the goal. <laughs> We're almost level 30 granted on the SSN. That's not really uh, a good sign. We're already needing to level up extra. Okay, saving again. Let's try blue one more time now at level 29 and with a new strategy. So the rest of this is gonna be pretty similar. We do have speed Pidgeotto now, except for a quick attack. 
get Spore now, though. Okay. Uh, in place of Stun Spore, obviously. Spore is just the better of the two Spores. And I think we won't outspeed this, but we can heal up, make sure we're full health. We don't outspeed, but I can hit a Spore. If we survive, we do now. Okay, we survive now with Body Slam once. We one shot. Look at that. Blue is down. It only took level 30 on the SSN to get past Blue, but we did it. Ember is now not a huge problem. <laughs> it's now Fire Blast and Flamethrower. Uh, is not not uh, looking forward to that at all. I do think we want Dig for our Parasect. It has 100 base power in Gen 1, so it's just really good. I only have one Body Slam, but I think we're going to mostly rely on Dig, actually. Okay, the card updates there. There we go. And we can Dig. I did not heal. I did not heal. That's a mistake. Now, Raichu, just do nothing. Our attack fell. Doesn't even matter. We didn't need to heal. Surge is just that easy. What a pushover. Surge, you weakling. 40 minutes, we got three badges. That's a little slow, but uh, it's working. It's working, at least. The Wrapping Junior Trainer. She is kind of a pushover since we have the advantage there, and we're so overleveled at this point. We're cruising now, as long as we don't run into anything that we are weak against, which uh, will be upcoming pretty dang soon. Body Slam is going to be our saving grace for most of this early game because it really does some good damage. We have 92 attack at level 32. That's a really good stat. Even though we're quite slow, we can hit real dang hard. Self-Destruct, nice. So he blew up while we were underground. That really helps there. fan freaking tastic Let's see how this guy goes. I think we're going to be fast enough to outspeed both of them. I'm not sure. Body Slam. Oh, quick attacks. We're fine. No problem then. No reason to be scared at all. Nothing can go wrong now, right? I will probably grab some extra items just so I can get some more Carbos. I want as much speed as I can get, and that's going to be a really important factor in being able to make this work as we go. Got everything we need except for the vitamins. I'm going to grab just a few of them. We're going to grab three Carbos, I think. Should be good. As well as two protein. Try to hit as hard as possible here. Okay, with all of that done, we can now go grab Fly, which is going to go on our Pidgey. And then we can go back to Celadon and open up Saffron City. Now it is time to face Blue here in Pokemon Tower. He shouldn't be too bad still. He has mostly normal type moves on his Pidgeotto. So that's a great benefit. Execute only has Barrage and Hypnosis. This guy is a little bit spooky because Dragon Rage is decent. I am going to leech life this Kadabra. We get confused. Confused no more. That's good. I mean, do we outspeed? We don't even outspeed though. And we don't survive an ember. Okay. That ember is going to hit still pretty dang hard. I don't outspeed here, so I'm going to have to risk an attack on the Kadabra. It's okay. We're good now. I'm going to, I guess, just go for a dig. If we survive ember, we do. We are burned though. I don't know if Charmeleon goes down now. It still does. Okay. There's another overleveled battle that we won, but I cannot stay overleveled as easily for the rest of the game. It's going to quickly get out of hand. And Raticate, still not too bad. The crit. So there's the difference if you want to see it. That was a crit from a stab Hyper Fang from Raticate compared to the Ember that literally almost takes us out from full. No crit, no nothing. Okay, so now we do have to fight Erica, and that should be fine because Leech Life is actually going to be pretty good against her. This is really proving Parasect, even with an even bigger weakness, is holding its own still. Okay, Victory Bell. We should be pretty decent here. I can't be put to sleep now because of the status. The Bind with Poison, not my favorite thing. Tangle up. Please let me attack you. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Okay, this gives us Slash. Honestly, Body Slime is going to be better than Slash in the long run. I'm not going to learn it for now. Because when we set up with Swords Dance later on, if we actually get a crit with Slash, it's going to actually reduce the amount of damage we do. Because in Gen 1, when you get a crit, it bypasses the positive setup as well. So it will ignore Swords Dance and deal damage based on your base stats, which is actually a bad thing. But I'm going to mostly dodge these guys, except I just walk right into one. Luckily, not the worst one to run into. There are a bunch of pretty strong muck and wheezing trainers over here that I just genuinely don't want to mess with. We are ready to clear the Safari Zone at this point. We are a decent level. Usually in a solo run, by the time you get to the Safari Zone right here, you aren't quite high enough level to actually use a repel properly, at least for a lot of really strong Pokemon that don't need leveling. But uh, for Parasect, 
it's struggling. It, it actually needed the levels, so that makes it better here. I gotta dig out of the Savari Zone. I can fly. We're actually gonna fly straight to Saffron. Like I mentioned, I'm going to try to get these vitamins, okay, calcium, and then we can also use that right now to boost our special. Now that we're using our special very much, our attack is higher, and frankly, uh, our setup moves that we have available will be actually mostly physical stuff. Like Body Slam uses our attack stat, not our special, as well as Dig, and Swords Dance is just gonna benefit those even more. So Sword Stance, I think, is just going to go in place of Leech Life. It just makes the most sense to bring Sword Stance along for the ride. All right, I'm going to drop a save here, and then it's time for blue. Let's find out. I'm going to use Sport. Ooh! Yep, there's a crit. That's times 16 damage. No surviving that. There's no way. Did I have a little bit of damage still? Oh, I didn't heal all the way. That's not great. But I'm going to use Spore again. Well, there's another crit, I guess. <laughs> now on nine resets, try that one. There's no way that we're going to get another crit, right? Not possible. I, I No, no chance. No chance. Okay, we do survive. I'm thinking we will need that speed boost to even make this possible. But we will one-shot everything now. Gyarados, but we get hit with a Leer, which boosts us even more. We don't outspeed Alakazam. And that's another loss. Okay, so we do need the speed boost, I think, is what we're learning. The people in Koga's gym actually are not as much of a problem, but he just uses Disable and we can just finish the battle then. And we're gonna take on Koga. His poison types are gonna be our biggest weakness, basically, that eight times weakness. But the benefit is we outspeed this first one, we can hit Spore. And if I Sword Stance three times while the coughing sleeps, then start using Dig, because we do outspeed the Muck too, which is good to know. Sludge Mist. Sludge would be a massive damage, 520 base damage. That's insane. That dig and outspeeding his slow poison types makes a huge difference. Okay, I need to heal up because blue was a bit of a challenge, but we got a little bit of a badge boost now on our speed. The more we set up, the more of that we also get, which is nice. Now, I don't think I outspeed at the start here. Our regular speed before badge boosting is 66 with a single regular badge boost, so we don't outspeed the wing attack does a lot, but once he's sleeping, we can set up sword stance. Let's see, 74 speed, 83 speed, 93 speed. Okay, that's pretty good. And our attack stat is insane, 508. We got a level up in the middle, didn't we? It's a coin flip now. Wait, we got badge boosted again with the leer. We don't outspeed here, but he fails to disable. He's faster with his Charizard. If he goes for anything except for Ember, I think we might be okay. There's Ember, okay. In Gen 1, when you have the badges like Koga's badge, like Surge, that give you some stat bonuses, 12.5% to be specific, those boosts are reapplied every time you raise your stats. We want to use those to our advantage for this challenge especially, because we really need that speed. Okay, now at level 43, I think we'll be in a better spot. We might still level up in the middle of that fight. I think we're speed tied with Alakazam, which I don't love. And we get a level up, so we actually have a problem right there. Okay, he has to not use Ember because we don't outspeed. He uses Ember, we go down. Okay, so we need to use those red candies. That should prevent that mid-battle level up and hopefully make this a little easier. We will see. No crit wing attack. It's doing a little bit less, which is good. Alakazam here at 94 speed and don't level up. Charizard at 91 speed. That's perfect. That's what we need right there. So we can move first and take that win. And we can pick up this Lapras. All right, Bam, this goes out to you. Thank you so much, Bam, for being a member. All right, from there, all that's left of the Rockets is just Giovanni. Body Slam is not quite as good as Dig, honestly. Dig has better base power, but we just have more uses of Body Slam so I can use it more often. Okay, Needle Queen, I should definitely Dig. And that's it, Giovanni is defeated. I'm going to go to Sabrina first. I know that having the badge boost from Blaine is actually going to be beneficial for her battle, but he's a much bigger problem than she is. I think I can manage her fight without the badge boost actually pretty well, and that should be enough to make this work. We can get three sword stances down. How fast are we? We're fast enough for the Kadabra. So boom, Kadabra's gone. Fast enough for Mr. Mime. Get that thing out of here. That horrible sprite. He's much better looking in the later generations, but that sprite, I'm not a fan of. Body slam the Venomoth, get it on out of here. And then I think that we can actually not outspeed the Alakazam, but he just recovers, no problem whatsoever. Parasect is just that guy. So from there, I can fly over to Pallet Town. We gotta go fight Blaine. He's the only badge left before Giovanni, and I, I just gotta do it now. 
Let's just give it a shot. I might need to level up a little bit with some of our candies, but let's see how it goes. I think I outspeed here, so we can spore again. Oh, spore again. The 100% accuracy on spore is busted in Gen 1. It's insanely good. There's really just no way around it. That's what makes Parasect actually usable. Let's just dig. We have 105 speed. That is fast enough to beat Ponyta here. This is what I'm worried about. We have just enough to hit Rapidash because I think Fire Spin would have killed us. Uh, we have just enough to hit Arcanine. Perfect. The Fire Blast is not a problem. That would have just KO'd us. Doesn't even matter. We have just enough by a sliver to get through that battle. Okay, so now with all other badges and these guys defeated along the way, it's time for Giovanni. I will get a level up partway through his team. I don't know if that's going to be a concern. It might be just so we deal as much damage as possible. I'm going to dig a lot in this gym. Doug Trio, I can hit with a body slam should be plenty. Gotta love those guard specs. Those guard specs make it much easier for us. We don't outspeed anymore. Poison Sting hurts. Not too bad. We're pretty bulky at this point. We have enough levels. I think it doesn't even matter. Look at that. And Giovanni, we took one hit, but Poison Sting at this point, it's 120 base damage with all of the additional stacking, but it's still not awful. Time for blue. Okay, I might need to use a rare candy before this fight, or at least train up a little bit, I'm not sure. Same strategy as before. Do we level up here? We level up, we lose our boost. That flamethrower though is brutal. There's no way we survive that. So 95 times eight. Yeah, 760 base damage, I think. Whew, that's a little spicy. I definitely need to use one of those rare candies right here. In fact, let's just use like three of them, get up to level 53, just for good measure. So we need to spore again, wing attack, crits. Fighting blue on the way to victory road. Honestly, Parasect, I'm very impressed. To get through all of that, we are a little bit too slow here, but we survive. Are we fast? We're not fast enough. Ugh. So I think we just need more levels, right? That seems to be the solution because we were very close in speed, just not quite enough. Woo, that wing attack is still a lot of damage. Okay, when we get to Alakazam, we will have to get lucky. Uh, the crit is the not lucky. Okay, we don't outspeed. Psybeam is fine. Okay, that's good. We outspeed now. Go away, Charizard. We're good. Woo! There we go. Ready for the Pokemon League. Arcanine, easy peasy. Wow, this is cruising. What is this? Even stuff like Cloyster and, and Arcanine, I don't even set up all the way. It's just strong enough to just wipe the floor. All this extra training at the end, I think, is actually going pretty quick. What's interesting in Red and Blue is a lot of these teams like this one start with a weaker version of their ace. So like a Bell Sprout to start actually works really well for Parasect, like this type of game design, because then I can set up on Bell Sprout, and then Weeping Bell comes out and I'm already set up. And by that point, I'm fast enough that I can outspeed the Victory Bell and just win. So it's like that kind of structure is what helps Parasect be good. Make sure we're prepped, make sure we're ready, and then we can start the league challenge. Okay, so we're going to obviously lead with Sport. We are just fast enough at the level we're at, just enough speed to knock out Jinx. We level up maybe there. No, not quite. We're fine. Lapras goes down. Parasect does not even stop. Those ice type moves would also deal four times damage because of the boosted effectiveness of those super effective moves. They're not times eight, but they are times four. Didn't even take a single point of damage. That is crazy. So for this, not even worried whatsoever. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit a spore just to get like one setup, maybe two, just for fun. That's it, just that quick. The hiker's done. Give us a save and then we're gonna go into this ghost battle. Actually, I might be able to spore here. We survive. Dude, can we set up enough to move first against everybody? Maybe that might be enough. Not quite fast enough here, but if it uses Dream Eater, Toxic. Toxic was enough to take us out. We have to go for the Sport. Just don't do that. Okay, well, I guess we just rock with it. This Gengar at the end, but we might be able to do it. If it goes for Dream Eater, it does. That's it, Agatha's down. Honestly, I'm more scared for Lance than I am for the rival. Nothing to it but to do it, let's do it. The Leer is actually incredibly good. I think that means 63. I don't think we're quite fast enough. We're a little slow. Bite is fine though. He doesn't use any flying moves. We got it. First try, first try on Lance. Give us a save. I don't know if we need rest. Let's just go into the champion battle. Your weak bug can't compete with my power. That Charizard at the end might still give us an issue. We are looking pretty dang good. I think we will, mirror move failed, okay. We will actually not get hit by a wing attack and then we can body slam. I don't think we outspeed Alakazam. Pretty darn close, reflect, doesn't even matter. 
It doesn't apply to a team either. So right on goes down. Okay, wait, this is good. This is good. Body slam on executor. It goes down. Do we outspeed Gyarados? We do. Body slam should knock it out. There we go. And Charizard. Body slam. Blue is defeated. 142.04 for a Parasect with three different times eight weaknesses. And it still just powers its way through the game. 554 for the in-game time. That is wild. Like that felt not bad at all. Thank you everybody that's been watching up to this point. That completes the challenge. If you guys want to try that out, let me know. I can include some patch notes and files in the Discord. Thank you for liking and subscribing. But otherwise, I think that is it for now. So until next time, have a good one.